Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. So, Derek Chisora and Tyson Fury are going to get it on. Chisora is going to get an easy payday. Tyson Fury will win, but does that mean Fury gets Usyk after? Well, the way it looks, that everything's in place for, you know, and they're calling Tyson Fury versus Usyk the biggest heavyweight fight out there, which I don't think I agree with that. But I do understand the uniqueness of having uh, this undisputed distinction in the four belt era and the heavyweight division. Now, Tyson Fury and Chisora, that's just basically checking a box for Tyson Fury. I don't care what anyone says. You can't make me believe that Derek Chisora is going get to get in there and put forth a valiant effort. I just don't think so. I think there was a conversation between Fury and Chisora. Said, let's get in here. Kind of mix it up a little bit, but it's just going to be a glorified sparring session. It's, this is just my opinion. They may get in there and, and really try to take each other's heads off. However, I just don't see that. I see this as an opportunity for Fury to stay in shape, get the ring rust off, put $3 million in his friend's pocket, put like $30, 40000000 in his pocket, and then for Tyson Fury to go on next year and decide what he's going to do. Now, as far as Tyson Fury and Usyk, right? These guys have everything in place for that fight to take place in Saudi Arabia. Now, we know what the Saudis, we know what kind of money comes with that. And we know what Fury and Usyk, Fury initially asked for $500 million to fight Usyk in Saudi Arabia. They're not giving them, you know, no damn $500 million. So, but I'm sure it's a lot of money out there. But the, 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 this, is, this, is, this is what's making this interesting, okay? Right? The only thing, there's two things pending from making this fight happen between Fury and Usyk. One, Fury has to beat Chisora. Okay, so let's say that that box is going to get checked. So there'll be one more thing pending that preclude that could preclude Fury and Usyk from getting it on. And that's Eddie Hearn. That is Eddie Hearn, man. Right? Now, when you talk about securing the historic unification bout in the heavyweight division, you talk about that. There's no way in the world Eddie Hearn's going to be okay with that happening unless he's in it. He, for the last few years, has been on the cusp of getting that fight off the ground, but greed prevented it. He hurt Anthony Joshua because of greed, but it is what it is. Now he's in a position where he's sitting back on the outside, watching the movement in the heavyweight division, seeing where those belts are, and he is trying his damnedest to get his hands on a title or to get one of his fighters in the mix so they can stop Fury and Usyk from fighting. That way they get a chance to try to beat Usyk and get a, and get one of the belts. Now, what I'm talking about is Flip Hergovic. He's a mandatory. He doesn't want to step aside anymore. He wants to fight Usyk. So there's been a loss. There's been a, a legal action taken and they're, they're pushing for Hergovic and Usyk to go to purse bid I think it's a WBO bell, right? To go to purse bid. Now, the thing about that, when you do that, right, that can prevent pre prevent the uh, a unified bout from taking place and the undisputed bout is also a unified bout, okay? I just want to be clear with that. Some people get confused. It can prevent that from happening because you go to purse bid. The only time you can sit there and the mandatories get overlooked is if there's uh, negotiations taking place. But in this case, they're like, forget negotiations. Let's go straight to purse bid. When that happens, uh, sanctioned bodies can't, depending on their rules, they can't force uh, the, the mandatory to step aside so that they can make the unification or undisputed about. And Eddie Hearn is pushing that. So don't know what the outcome is yet, but that's what's happening in the heavyweight division. Now, we know Tyson Fury says a lot of stuff. You know, he's not going to fight Usyk. He's not going to wait for Usyk. I'm going to slap Usyk. Uh, I'm going to go fight Joe Joyce. I'm going to go wrestle. All these different things that Tyson Fury says, right? But at the end of the day, you can't tell me that Tyson Fury doesn't want to fight Alexander Usyk and become the undisputed. But the thing is, I would not be surprised if Usyk has to defend one of those belts. I wouldn't be surprised. You see, and this is when you see these guys dilly-dallying around with making fights. It's frustrating because nothing's guaranteed, man. 
you can just look at the whole Spence and Crawford crap. You know what I mean? Like, nothing's guaranteed. Yeah, I commend Crawford. You're doing something great, getting a good payday. But there's no guarantee he's going to beat a Vanessian. A Vanessian's a tough Russian, man. Uh, Spence coming out here, who knows what Spence is going to do? We know he doesn't want to fight Thurman. He may have to. I say in those first four to six rounds could be interesting. But there's, there's no guarantee these guys are just going to keep beating these opponents. And then eventually we get to the undisputed distinction between them and the uh, uh, them and the other title holder. So with Fury and Usyk, I just wouldn't be surprised if in 2023 we just didn't get that fight. But we should because money talks. And I get it. And when you're talking about a fight with Fury and Usyk, you know, these guys are going to look, it's probably like a $250 million pot of money out there just going to be split up between the two. Okay? It's a lot of money. And when guys are getting paid step-aside fees, a $5 million step-aside fee is not that bad. And it shouldn't be an issue for Usyk and Fury because they'll probably split that at $2.5 million apiece to pay the step-aside fee. And that way they can go and get it on and make $50, $60 million, $100 million, $120 million, or whatever they're going to make each. Okay? So when you look at this big picture-wise, holistically, the, 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 the money and those key decision-makers should be able to prevail to get Fury and Usyk off the ground. However, I would not be surprised if it didn't happen. Because Eddie Hearn is doing everything he can to stop this from happening, man. You got to understand, people, this is the, the heavyweight division's first uh, four-belt undisputed bout. Um, and it was supposed to be taking place this weekend, but Yusuf didn't want to fight. He wanted to take some time off, which is understandable. Family issues, Ukraine. Took some damage in that AJ fight. So he wants to return early next year. And that's why Tyson Fury is picking an easy fight here with Chisora. So that they can return, he can after this get in the ring back around in March or so and be fresh and be in shape. Um, but the expected win for Tyson Fury, for the most part, man, it all but confirms, you know, the title unification uh, in 2023. Um, U 6 team is saying that all Tyson Fury has to do is sign, but you know Tyson Fury marches to the beat of his own drum. But I will say this. Fury and Usyk, it's a huge fight. It's undisputed. It's a big deal. But nothing's bigger than AJ and Wilder. And I don't know what Wilder's trying to do. I know what AJ is. AJ will go to Saudi Arabia. I'm not sure Wilder will. But if Wilder is willing to go to Saudi Arabia, Wilder can make a lot of money. But you got to be careful out there messing around with Eddie Hearn and his fight cards, man. You mess, mess around and uh, lose on a points decision. Definitely. So Wilder would have to knock him out. But we'll see if Fury and Usyk actually get it on. I'm um, I'm kind of reaching the point like a lot, a lot of other boxing fans where it's like, well, believe it when they get in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Because this kind of yo-yoing everybody and getting everybody emotionally worked up and involved in the fights for them just to come out here and not have the fight, that's, that's frustrating. But that being said... Everything's in place. U16 have talk, been, been talking, coordinating with the guys in Saudi. You know, they're more quiet. They're more reticent and cool. Eddie Hearn's more loud. You know what I'm saying? And he's all in social media. But U16 is coming out and talking now and saying everything's in place. The, the one thing that I'm not getting, uh, I'm getting, there's different rumors about the money that to be made, like $250 million to be split. But I'm not sure on how much money this fight each of them are going to make. But that's something that I've been hearing, 200, 250 million. It may be less, it may be more. I don't know. But with that kind of money, you got to think that even though Tyson Fury doesn't like to pay step aside fees, I mean, cooler heads have to prevail here and, and, and let him know, like, take the fight, man. Quit playing around. But we'll see if it gets off the ground. That being said, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Shout out to the veterans. Pray Eddie Hearn doesn't stop this fight from happening, and y'all keep cool and I'm in the breeze.